Fear is a tiny and unreal space that you have set aside within yourself. There is only the One. All that exists is contained most lovingly within the One, internally, and without break or interruption of any kind. There is no outside, both inside and outside are just imaginary concepts that were helpful within the illusion as you constructed it and set up the boundaries within which you chose to play your games. It has been a very effective place to play your games because it has seemed so real to you. But that realism has come with a heavy price of pain and suffering that has lasted for eons, feeding on itself voraciously, and it is now time for you to release yourselves from the nightmare of chaos, confusion, and conflict that it has become. All games have to have an end, otherwise they would not be games, and when they reach that moment, you awaken by turning away from them and by focusing your attention on the love that is the home in which you have your eternal existence and constant joy. While you are still asleep and dreaming, as you are presently, the illusion continues to appear very real and very threatening as all kinds of catastrophes line up to invade your personal space, the space that you spend so much time and energy defending against such terrifying possibilities. To awaken you just need to let go of those defenses, because they effectively hold within your space everything you fear, instead of keeping them out. They cannot keep them out because there is no outside. Fear is a tiny and unreal space that you have set aside within yourself where you have chosen to remain separate from love, from God your eternal home. But it is completely unreal and seems real only as long as you choose to believe it exists. You are all being called to awaken from the games that you have been playing so enthusiastically, to become consciously aware that they are unreal and to come home to the infinite love that awaits you patiently because it knows that you are coming. It is with you always, because it is you and you are it, one with Source, Mother Father God. When you awaken, your joy will be limitless in every moment, just as your Heavenly Father intends. Many of you are going through enormous emotional upheavals and turmoil at this time as all the issues that have been buried or denied for eons come to the surface for acknowledgement and release. There are guilt, fear, anger, and resentment in many forms that have been clung to either in shame or in the hope of restitution. But truly it is all quite unreal. You invented the games and you invented the rules, and games and rules are inevitably judgmental, often harshly so. Now is the time to terminate them once and for all. The first step is to forgive. Until you forgive yourselves and others, you cannot move forward because a refusal to forgive, even if it is in the form of an unawareness of the need to forgive, is a refusal to love, and as there is only love, there is nowhere for you to go. You feel lost, unworthy, shame-filled, unacceptable and unlovable, as you continue clinging to the illusion in your belief that it is real and that you can find refuge there, but those feelings are aspects of the games and are themselves unreal. God created you perfect, and so you remain eternally perfect. However, as you look around you and engage with other game players, all humans are game players, you encounter judgment on every front, judgment of and by friends, family, work associates, political activists, religious proselytizers, those of other ethnicities or nationalities, the list is endless. And judgment always leads to blame and then conflict. As long as you choose to need to judge so long will you close yourselves off from love. Love is with you always, you are eternally held in its divine embrace, but like distraught infants fighting free of the mother's loving grasp, you absolutely refuse to allow it access. You prefer to wallow and weep in hurt rage as those whom you believe should care for you, honor you, love and respect you, wait for you to make the first loving move. And even when you do choose to make that first move, it is made cautiously and reluctantly for fear that your overtures will be rejected. When that is your attitude, it has a very powerful effect on your energy fields which then send out the message, keep away. And yet, underneath all the rage, every one of you wants only to be loved. It is extremely confusing for you. If you will first of all go within to your holy personal sanctuary where love always resides awaiting your acceptance, and while there, set the intent to forgive yourselves for all of your errors and mistakes, even if you see them as unconscionable affronts to or attacks on others, 
you will be fully supported by those in the spiritual realms who watch over you lovingly in every moment. You will find it in your hearts to forgive yourselves because, deep within yourselves, you know that in truth you have done nothing wrong. How could you ever do anything wrong when you were eternally held within God's divine embrace? What you sense and experience as sins and omissions are but aspects of the unreal games that you have been playing, games that you are choosing to terminate finally and permanently. Often it is easier first to forgive others, as in surrender and humility you see them as they really are, hurt and frightened children seeking desperately for love. You then recognize yourself in them, and are able to extend forgiveness to yourselves. Later, as your spirituality consciously deepens and intensifies, you will come to understand that there truly is nothing to forgive because nothing has happened. Then you will recognize that, yes, there is only love, that, yes, you are love, and so is everyone else. It cannot be otherwise because all that exists exists within Father Mother God the divine source that is all, and that is you. Your loving brother, Jesus. Channeled by John Smallman. John Smallman 2.wordpress.com